Welcome back to this video where uh, uh, here we are going to study uh, how to perform uh, some uh, thresholding in images uh, with the uh, image software. So uh, we have our image uh, here and the first step that we have to, to do is to uh, indicate to the computer uh, what we will call background and what we will call object. So this is something which is uh, hidden in the process. Uh, um, a part and in uh, we are talking about binary so it's a binary and it's an option here which is located here in my case I like to put background in black and object in white so this is very important that when I will do some uh, um, when I will do some uh, threshold I keep this in mind because in the end uh, what the software will analyze when we it will do some counting of a object or some measurement of size of object it will take into account that everything which is white is counted as an object, while everything which is black is not uh, processed uh, at all. So this is somehow the protocol that I have um, uh, dealt with my uh, with my, with my Fiji. If you like to have a white background and black object, you just have to change this. But this is important that you are aware of what is selected here so that everything you do uh, in thresholding and image, analysis, image further analysis is uh, uh, in accordance to what is written here. Yeah. So now uh, we're going to move to image adjust threshold here. Uh, okay, so we need to first open an image. So let's uh, let's open an image here we open the muscle image and we're going to do some image adjust and threshold this is a way of uh, making an image binary while controlling the, the threshold i would like to be black and white and i would like to select for instance um, the uh, darker cell so the darker cell will correspond to all gray level between zero and this first mode of the histogram. So I will select these two thresholds, actually these are two thresholds in, in the uh, image uh, plugin, uh, that I will put the first one completely to zero and the second one I will select to be after the first mode of the uh, histogram. And when I do uh, this, I see that somehow I get almost a perfect, not perfect, but uh, a very good uh, version of what corresponds to the darker uh, cell. If I want to apply uh, this, I just press on uh, apply and I will uh, only after uh, pressing on apply uh, getting a binary image. I could be also interested in selecting for instance the other cells, so the gray cells and this would be this, yeah. Or I could be uh, interested in selecting the uh, inter um, intercell uh, tissue and this will be this set uh, that I would uh, uh, manually set. Okay. So here I will just select the dark cell and uh, uh, press apply. So now if I uh, make an analysis in terms of histogram of this image without any uh, without any uh, surprise I get one mode at zero and one mode at 255. So this is a binary image. And so, in this case, I can uh, actually uh, measure the amount uh, of, um, of pixels which are at 255. For this, I just need to press list here, and I got the amplitude at 255. It's uh, 20,442 pixels. 20,442. Uh, 20,442, yeah, that's the number, that's the surface that I have, which are dedicated to this type of cells. So now, if I want to uh, open again this image, and threshold it again, but now to keep the, uh, I just threshold, um, to keep uh, only the, uh, cells which correspond to the gray uh, uh, scales, the gray uh, cells, sorry. Uh, this is uh, it. I want to apply this and again the new histogram. 
Now when we will measure the amount of uh, pixels which are at level 1, it's 41,000 41,837, so it's at least twice the size of the surface of the darker cell, meaning that the, this uh, white cell, this gray uh, cells, grainy uh, cells, are more dense uh, in this image than the uh, darker one. So that's the way of quantitatively addressing uh, this uh, question. If I reopen it again to, to finish this uh, video, and uh, I, here I, I fixed manually the, um, the threshold uh, in the image, and I could be interested in um, having this threshold being automatically uh, set, and I need to go to auto threshold in this case, and I can try all uh, all objects, uh, all, all, all thresholds, uh, methods, which are included in, uh, in Imagi. So if I just select this, up, I got a window where I've got all the, the methods and I can maybe select the one which are the most adapted to me. For instance, this one here, the mean error, seems to be quite well uh, adapted if I would like to have the segmentation of the dark cells. So if I use it directly, I will have an image which would correspond to something uh, that I would have uh, had if I had uh, set manually the threshold to the uh, to the value on the mode uh, on the on the valley uh, between the modes like I did it previously. Okay, so now you know how to to do some uh, thresholding of uh, images. This will be very useful in many of the applications that we will do. So. Um, uh, see you in the next uh, video.